yeah, no, it's just hard. It's just hard. Uh, and and when I say shit like that, people look at me and they say, "Oh, he's just weak," you know. Mm -hmm. I'm about to cry. Uh, are they gonna? Yeah, who cares? We're not making it in off of this. That's why you guys got Welcome to the uh, Jake and Andy talk show with Jake and Andy. I'm Jake. He's Andy. How you doing, buddy? This is a great podcast, biggest podcast in the world. Good for you, buddy. We got a new camera angle for some reason. I'm going to be honest. I don't like it. I'm looking at it through well, the viewfinder. Well, it's just because it's me and you, so... Yeah, I don't like it. It's closer on us. We'll be able to move in. It'll look better. Looks... Nah. Nah, nah, nah. That actually looks ass, but it's too late now because we already started. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we are the biggest podcast in the world on the, at the top of every chart right now. It's crazy. It's it's insane, man. And we're not like those annoying radio show hosts that I fucking hate. Do you know those fucking guys? That, Ooh, that sit name them. Um, oh, there's one. I can't remember her name right now. Damn. Ah, shit. I don't know, but she's always just saying shit and being really peppy. Like, hey, guys, welcome back to a talk show with Jake and Andy. We got it. Well, I'm your home girl. She says she always says I'm your home girl, and she says the the Is crazy she white. No, she's oh, okay, black. Okay, good, good. It, dude, imagine how cringe it would be if she was white. Yeah. Just saying homegirl. Nah, dude, she uses really old slang and shit. And then there's other radio... Dude, they just... Dude, they just pull the, the crazy shit out of their heads. Like, the first thing that pops into their head, because they know they have to keep talking, they say, oh, shit, here's something. Here's a quirky little thing I thought of. Let well, me whoa, say. That's, that's a fucking talent, because I can't do that. Dude, every time we no. do these... No, dude, every time I do... Okay, whatever. I will. I, uh, I'm. I'm looking at the camera angle again. I don't. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Oh, what do you, with it. What do you guys think of this camera angle? Do you like it or do you like the old camera angle better? I'm. I'm leaning toward the old one. But whatever. We'll try it. Like okay. that, buddy? Huh? You like Get that? the fuck off of me, dickhead. Anyway, um, no, dude, they don't have talent. They're pulling random sure shit they out, do. Of, pulling the quirkiest random thing that no. pops in. Hey, hey, remember Chia Pets? Yeah, those. Oh, Chia Pets. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember you would you would grow in and they would have hair on. The, it looks like they would have hair, but it's grass growing out of their head. It's a Chia Pet. Remember that? Yeah, remember. That? Pretend like you're a. Uh, we have we have a very good, interesting uh, guest coming up on the podcast. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully he he can he will still be able to do it without um this other guy. But um, yeah, yeah. Hope hopefully. Oh well. All right. God I'm sorry. Well, what were you saying about Chia Pets? I don't know. Just radio talk show hosts bringing up the craziest, dumbest shit. Well, just no, to like, keep shit talking. Well, I I think that's a talent because when I'm doing these, I can't. I I like. Like conversations always go yes and you know like like you have to uh, like like hear what someone's saying then add on to the conversation and then it evolves you know I I'm incapable of doing that for some reason. Nah, you're you're fine on that. Nah, this shit. It, it's not nah. Like I listen to all these other podcasts. Like um, uh, dude, I, I I keep bringing them up, but fucking super mega is like probably up there. They're like the funniest, and I listen to how they do podcasts, and they 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 they, they just flows so smoothly and i feel like that's uh, i'm 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 lacking in that department hmm. i don't know i thought our uh recent ones have been okay i don't know i think i don't know are we getting better or not or are we getting worse yeah yeah tell us if we're getting better or worse or if it's your first time here leave a little like and a subscribe for us leave a little like and ding that notification yeah ding bell. that notification bell give us five dollars on patreon real quick oh Absolutely, give us give us five smackers on on Patreon. Yeah, five bones. Give us five bones. <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's read the comments. We love our community here on the talk show. Yes, with we, we love every single one of you. You guys are great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're so tight knit. This is the most tight knit podcast. That's our new thing. The most tight. -knit yeah, the most podcast. tight knit community on YouTube. Because we're so small and we uh, we love every single one of you. Yes. You beautiful, beautiful people. I would just love to caress your breasts. All right. Next, first, first comment. 
bro. What the fuck? Um, first one says, enjoyed the episode. I like how you're each other's therapist. LOL. Strong brotherly connection, bruh. Thank you. Yeah, no, you dude, see, dude, honestly, this this is kind of like therapy for me. I don't even like really talk about yeah, shit. Yeah, but I, I need to see an actual therapist. I'm I'm quite fucked in the head. Quite fucked in the head. I don't know, me too, uh, I think. You ha- no, you have to go like this. I'm fucked in the I, head. I'm fucked in the head. In the head. I got I got a little screw loose, you know what I mean? Yeah. It sucks, but I feel like that's a lot of people nowadays. Thanks, technology. I think technology has a lot to do with why people are fucked up. Yeah, maybe. You're just getting all this information coming at you through social media and fucking billboards and TV ads and, like, you, what the fuck are you supposed to do with that shit? You just have it in your... Uh, I remember you loved Chris McCandless or whatever the fuck his name was. Mm-hmm. You thought he had the right idea. Dude, I always thought he was a fucking moron. <laughs> always. No, he, he went overboard. But yeah, there was some uh, a period where I went through a phase of thinking everybody should just live in the woods and get away from all this shit. But yeah, obviously, I don't think that now. But, but I do think we need to distance ourselves from technology and not use it as much. But it's hard. It's hard to do. God damn it. How the how the fuck did we get out? Okay, um, uh, the dating show with this Mexican guy. Oh, by the way, the first one comment was from Mister Box Boy. Second one is from Vander Vaffle DG Two. Uh, they say the dating show with this Mexican guy sounds like a hilarious idea. Do it. All right, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to start a yes. dating show on this channel. Absolutely, yeah, on this channel. Yeah, we actually have two videos coming at you pretty soon. They're fire. Yeah, probably within the week. And it's not a podcast. They're actual videos. Yeah. I, I really want to go back to making just 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 fun, funny shit. We don't have to put too much work into it. You know what yeah, I mean? Fuck it. Yeah. Like like I'm I'm really inspired by well, one plum plum corp, mm-hmm. but also super again, super mega. Dude, they have they have videos where it's just literally them just having fun and, and like no like no script. Mm-hmm. No, 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 nothing. It's just complete bullshit, and I love it. Yeah. So yeah, sh- look out for videos like those. Subscribe to you guys. Ain't ready. You guys aren't ready. You guys ain't ready for what's coming. <laughs> right, it's funny that we're saying you guys aren't ready, and meanwhile these <laughs> videos aren't that like amazing. They're, they're you know what I mean? Be ass. <laughs> yeah. Um. And V95 says Gus is a ten out of ten. Andy's somewhat shaved head is a one out of ten. Dude, somewhat I, I, shaved head. I got a fucking mullet. You shaved the sides, motherfucker. Somewhat shaved. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you think I had one side shaved, motherfucker? Dude, yo, dude, I have mullets, beef with you, mother. Dude, mother mullets fucker. look fucking sick, especially when they're not overboard. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like some people just get like long ass hair, then completely shave the sides of their head, and that looks fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. But like you, um, uh, Jeff, Jeff Wittick. That's all who I can think of that have decent looking mullets. I don't think he has it anymore. He used to. Yeah, his yeah, looks sick. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, probably not. His looks sick. But yeah, I mean, it, it came back in into style. Who knows how long it's going to last. I think I'm going to stick with it, though, even if it goes back out of style. Oh, yeah, do that. Dude, I fucking hated that I jumped on the trend of the mullet when it... I wish I did it before it came back in style. I, I hated that. I was like, shit, that looks cool. I, fuck, I'm really, I'm really about to do this. I don't know. I, yeah, it looks fine. Looks fine, bro. Just looks fucking fine, bro. Dude, I, have to get bro a, I have to get a fucking haircut, dude. Get a Jesus. mullet. No, do it. no, dude. That look, dude. Imagine a, imagine a fat guy with a mullet. That looks stupid. Nah, that's the best. That that's the, when it looks the, the best. That's that's when it looks the best. Yes. Okay. I will. Because it's like a slimy dirt. Dude, ball. okay, no, I'm not getting <laughs> a fucking mullet. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, the two a.m. thing. Our biggest fan says, "Man, I love being a tight, being tight knit with you guys." God, absolutely. 
tight knit community. Really tight knit, dude. It, I feel like you're taller than me. No. Okay. Dude, really tight knit here. It's crazy. Thank you guys for staying tight knit. Um. Oh, Vonder Vaffle DG2 again. He asks, what country would you guys like to visit and why? Damn, dude. Didn't expect to get in my feels early in. Stay good, Andy. And he gave an 18 out of 8 to Gus. Let's go. That's a good score for what Gus. What country would you like to visit? Um, Dude, dude this is probably like obvious. Uh, guess. Guess. Japan. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> dude, everyone wants to go there. Bruh. Um, like the only thing that's like that turns me off to it is like, like they're they're very racist over there. Like um, like there are stores, um, bars, restaurants, whatever that that if you are anything but Japanese, they won't let you in. Fuck them. Yeah, dude, it's so fucking weird. Like, I don't know why they're like that, why their mentality is like that. Asian hate? What about white hate? That's yeah, fucked yeah, up. yeah, dude, white people are the most oppressed race in America right now, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And especially in Japan, it sounds like. Yeah, especially in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Whites are being persecuted left and right. Pootie pie fucked up by moving there. I think we got to take a stand. I think we got to take a stand against all these people that are hating on white people, honestly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We need to put an end to this shit. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have said that. We went too far. Oh, damn. Are we recording? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, Yasin762, the AFG Prodigy, says, Next video, let me know what you think about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, boy. I don't dude, know about anything about this. Yeah, shit. dude. Like, like I remember telling you, like, I, I played Final the original Final Fantasy VII, uh, um, in 2015, I think, mm -hmm. 15, 16, so something like that. And, and dude, I, I remember, do you remember telling me, do you remember me telling you this, that like the story was like one of the best I've ever played in any game? Yeah. One of, like, I would probably like, like top 15, maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah, it was very good. And so I was, I was hyped to play Final Fantasy seven remake. And then it comes out and they change a whole bunch of shit. Well, not a whole bunch of shit, but they added a plot element that's like pretty major. And it and it implies that like everything is going to be different about the story. And and I was like, oh, bro, okay, fine. So they fucked it up? A little bit. I I, I think so. Yeah, seen uh, me and him actually had uh, had like a talk about it and um oh. and and yeah, I, I, I kept telling him that like like Final Fantasy Seven remake just didn't really impress me like like story wise. Mm -hmm. And um uh so yeah, so yeah, I, I'm not in a rush to play rebirth really Damn. because they kind of fucked up the story, in my opinion. They um, dropped the ball. Yeah, they dropped the ball. I, and I was really hyped for you to play it, especially because if if, if it was like a one to one remake, I would like it, it was going to be one of those games where I was like, okay, Andy, you actually have to play this, you know. Mm -hmm. But no, it's not. So damn. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I I'll probably play it eventually when it's like ten dollars okay. or something. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, for the time being, I'm not playing it. I'm more excited to play Persona Three Reload. I really want to play that shit. Mm. But um, yeah. Anyway, let I, us know I, if we I, have any gamers out there. Yeah, yeah. Are there any gamers out there? Tell us. You like Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. You guys like Fortnite? You guys like Ro Roblox? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Minecraft. Uh, my Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Let us know oh, in the what, comments. What's that other one the, the kids like now? What's that other one the kids like? Hell Divers Two. That's like the newest craze. Mm. Yeah. Got any gamers out there? Let's we know, love games. Let us know what your favorite game is. We really love gaming. <laughs> Um, very low effort meme says Gus looking like a whole snack sleeping there. 10 out of 10. Hell yeah. Hear that Gus? You're a 10 out of 10. What do you think about that? <laughs> he did it again. Good shit, Gus. Good shit. Don't bite me. That's some good shit, Gus. I'm proud of you. I'm <laughs> proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Should I read this one? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. From, yeah, go from, ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another one from Yasin. Oh shit, this one's long as fuck. Uh, oh shit. And then, okay, well, let me read it first. Okay, this one might be a little controversial. We might be getting into a controversial uh, topic here, everybody. 
Yasin, the AFG prodigy, says, Dope video. Video is spelled wrong. <laughs> Jake, anxiety can be a chemical imbalance, but imagine facing your anxiety and getting good at dealing with it without meds. I'm happy you got off those meds because fuck them. And the reason why you're feeling irritable is because of the side effects. Adderall is actually a crazy pill. You're probably going to think this is dumb because that's what you normally would say to me. But I believe the reason why people have anxiety is because they haven't faced challenges in person. Meaning they haven't gotten comfortable with facing those challenges face to face. Why go on pills and have it fuck up, fuck you up more in a long term, quote unquote, when you can face them yourself unless it's severe anxiety, then that's understandable. I'm also voice texting this, so I don't know if anything <laughs> else I'm saying this switching up my words or not, but yo, you're still a bitch-ass ninja. Proud of you for uh, getting off them meds high key. I don't think you ever needed them. And then he put a flex does flexing it, emoji. Does it say edited? No. Oh, okay, because I remember it being a lot shorter than what it, than what it is. <laughs> And then the 2 a.m. thing, our biggest fan actually said you're spinning facts to Yasin. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I should have made this more clear in the um, in the last podcast. I, I I'm not off of my meds by choice. I um, I don't have a primary care doctor anymore. I got dropped by them because I got too old for them. It was it was the same pediatrician that we've been seeing. <laughs> For oh, yeah. 28 years. That's um, something we could talk yeah, about. Yeah, so we got too old. Uh, I, I got too old, so he dropped me, and I'm trying to find a primary care doctor. I, I got off my I off my meds eight months ago, and I am trying to get back on them. Like, like I'm not off of them by choice. Mm -hmm. um, and these side effects you talk about, yeah, seeing they... Um, uh, I didn't have any at all. Like, there's there was no side effects. Dude, eight months eight months if there were really side effects uh, they would have stopped by now uh th so um uh yeah i i don't agree with everything you said there <laughs> like uh, i like uh, 100 percent of the things you said there i disagree with <laughs> um but whatever uh yeah i'm trying to get back on meds um the it, me off of meds just doesn't work i'm um i'm a bit of a mess right now and, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I might need them. I need them. I, I don't know. What do you think about that? Like, like, what do you think about how I've been acting since I've been off of meds? Did you notice anything differently? Dude, honestly, I didn't notice a lot. The only thing is you don't want to do shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah. <laughs> and it was like that before I went on the meds and yeah, dude, they just helped me. They just, they just really helped me. Mm -hmm. um, I think there, there were, there were people that, um, that would come to me and ask for some of my Adderall and they would pay me $5 <laughs> for a pill. I think, you know who I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and Hey, they, 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 they helped him apparently, even though he wasn't supposed to be taking them. Um, and, and I feel like people that, that like take take medication like that just don't understand that medication isn't like 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 a short term uh aid it's a long term aid like 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 the way uh like yeah i don't know yeah uh i a lot of people just don't understand what meds are and they're brainwashed by people like andrew tate um uh sneako <laughs> um <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, just people like that. They're they're brainwashed into thinking like um, like like you can get like you can easily get over like legitimate clinical depression. Um, not just normal depression. Yeah, everyone gets depressed, but not everyone gets clinical depression. You know, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, people just don't understand that they all they all hear depression, they think it's all the same thing. No, no, it's not. Clinical depression and, and normal depression are completely different, and um. I don't know. I just strongly urge people to educate themselves about that stuff before they talk out of, I mean, I mean, I mean, they only talk about like, like one side, you know, and they think that that side's correct when in actuality, there's, there's medical research that goes back f years and years and years, um, that like, um, 
that are to the contrary of what these people are saying. So yeah, whatever that, that's, I'll, I'll get off my soapbox now and there you go. Well, yeah, no, I guess I'll say what I think about it. I think people should be taking, um, medication if they need it to fix a problem. Cause I mean, it's available, so why mm -hmm. not take it? Yeah. But if I'm talking about myself personally, I don't think I would get on any medication to fix a problem I have because I do kind of see where Yasin's coming from. Like, you know, you have to figure these problems out yourself without medication. And um, if, you know, pills and shit to fix problems didn't exist, then what the fuck would you do? Yeah. Th that's just me. So I, I don't think I would ever take anything, but I think people should take them if they want to because I mean they're available and why the fuck not it helps right yeah I agree I also I also kind of think that like like if you can get over a problem without taking meds then then definitely do that but there's people like me that try to get over a problem and just um fail miserably a lot and uh yeah no it's just hard it's just hard uh, and and when I say shit like that, people look at me and they say, "Oh, he's just weak," you know. Mm -hmm. I'm about to cry, <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, let's just move on. I said what I had to say, you know. All right, but well, yeah, that was the last. That was the comment. last comment. You want to weigh yourself, <laughs> bro? That that's gonna be a fucking shit show, dude. Oh shit. Okay, so sure. so. Uh, we're t this is our thirteenth episode. We've done six weigh-ins, so I mean we've missed a lot. Obviously, last weigh-in was two sixty-five. First weigh-in was two seventy-three. Uh, Jake is about to step on the scale, and don't lie about what it says. Two seventy-four. Oh fuck! <laughs> I, I do. I knew it. Why? What? Why? Why? Okay, so Jake is 274. Dude, dude, just eating is cool, bro. Jake says eating is cool. <laughs> nah, yeah, dude, it is. Dude, nah, I, I know what you, uh, like when you said you're addicted to food, I, I know what you're fucking talking about, dude. I, dude, I would eat all damn day if I could. I love eating everything. I love eating cheeseburgers, pizza. Um, sausage. I love eating, uh, pies. I love eating cake. I love eating cookies. Dude, I'll eat that shit all damn day if I could. But yeah, dude, what the fuck? I like, no, the fact that I gained 60 pounds and I, I don't know, I look okay. Just tells you how skinny I was in high school. What the, f how, how was I, how did I look like that, bro? I look like I was, uh. I had an eating disorder. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. But, what the like, fuck? like back then I didn't really think it was like that bad, but when I, when I look at you now and then I see pictures of you in, in high school, it, it, it was, it was kind of weird. Yeah. It was kind of weird how you looked and you didn't even have an eating disorder. You were just a skinny motherfucker. Dude, I ate, I remember I would buy these, um, lemon meringue pies from tops, mm -hmm. $5 for a whole lemon meringue pie. And I would eat that in one sitting, bro. Like after every race, <laughs> and I was still, I still look like a skinny bitch. Well, no, you did run a race, so I guess you could, like, it, it, like you could eat whatever the fuck you want, and want, and you would just like be getting back the calories you lost during that race, right? I mean, I guess, but is it is like, that how that shit works? I don't know. Uh, look at me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but like I said, nobody else on the team was eating as much as me, and they didn't look. Like I looked, I looked fucked up. Right. All right. What's your goal weight for the end of the year? Uh, three hundred. No, seriously, dude. I don't. No, know. you have to say something and put it out into the world, and then your brain, okay, you know, might fall. My my goal at the end of the year is two forty. That that's that's, that's when I thought I looked my best, which mm -hmm. is weird because that's like still overweight. But just pull up pictures of what I looked like at two forty. Yo, damn, bro. See <laughs> damn. that? Damn, damn, bro. Damn. Look at him there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like, yeah, like I still had fat on me, but I, I like back then I could, 
I could walk without uh, uh, getting out of breath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, really? You walk now when you get out? No, of breath? no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's um, yeah. I don't know. Like, like I just felt healthier at two forty. Mm-hmm. Wait, okay, no, not two forty. I take that back. My goal weight is two twenty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pull up a picture of me at two twenty. It's just gonna be the same fucking picture because, <laughs> because that's what I I got I got two forty and two twenty confused. Mm. Yeah, two twenty. Um, yeah, dude. The reason why I, I I fucking stopped trying to lose weight at some point was um. Wow, in my head I thought I had a reason, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have a reason. I just. I, I just literally said fuck it and just ate <laughs> dude honestly. Well also you you stopped um working out and then that was helping a lot I think. And then you was it your foot hurting that made you stop? Both of my feet hurting. I don't know mm. what the fuck's wrong with my feet, dude. Dude, you no, you seriously need to figure that I mean uh, you you need to figure that out so you can get back to at least walking and right. then maybe running. Um, well, let's let our tight knit community in on, on what's going on, dude. My feet are fucked. My feet are fucked up. I can't walk long distances without them fucking having a stabbing pain, and it it might be because of my weight. It might be. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I I did research. I I, I can't go see a doctor because again, I don't have a primary uh, care physician to recommend me to. A foot doctor. I guess I could just go into some random foot doctor, right? I don't yeah. know, but um, yeah. Well, I did my research. Apparently, I have something called plantar fasciitis, which um, you could cure, quote unquote, cure for lack of a better term, by getting surgery and they remove tendons that's on the bottom of your foot. And yeah, then, and then that just makes everything better for some reason somehow. But it also can just go away. Yeah, yeah, it can go away. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go away anytime soon. Man, that's no laughing matter, bro. Um, that's no laughing matter at all. <laughs> um, but speaking of laughing, who the fuck is the funniest person uh, on earth right now, in uh, your opinion? <laughs> um, dude, this is going to be my third time mentioning them, but fucking Matt Watson and Ryan McGee from Super Mega. You think Mega. they're the funniest yes, people on earth? yes. Yes, 100%. I mean, yeah, they're funny, but yeah, I don't know. Damn. I was going to, I mean, I have this in my fucking notes. Dude, the two naturally just most funny people where humor just comes out of them. I swear to God, it's Theo Vaughn. He doesn't even try. He's funny as fuck. And then Beetlejuice. Okay, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I changed my answer to Beetlejuice. Yo, honestly, <laughs> fuck Theo Vaughn. Beetlejuice is the king. Why? Beetlejuice is the king. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like, like, like the old Vaughn is funny, but uh, sometimes when you send me clips of shit that he said, I, I'm just like, <laughs> nah, dude. He, you know what I mean? I don't know, dude. He's He doesn't even try a lot of the time, and it's so fucking funny. Like, uh, I also feel like he's not like, like, like a stand up comedian. He's more of a, like a podcast comedian. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He can just come up with yeah. stuff. His stand up isn't very good, in my opinion, but he's funny on podcasts. Yeah. And yeah. I even love when he, um, remember, uh, remember when he was on the H3 podcast and he, uh, said that that giant lobster has Down syndrome or yeah, something? Yeah. Like, like he said the reason why that lobster was big was because it has Down syndrome. Yeah. That shit was funny. And I even love when he reads ads. Like he was doing a, I sent it to you. He was doing an ad read for Tommy John's, which is a underwear company. And he said, Hey, do you, have you ever looked in the mirror and looked at your ass and thought, Hey, it deserves better. Or no, when he said, when he, when he said ass, he said, have you ever looked at your ass? That rear end, <laughs> that wagon, it deserves better. I don't know, dude. He, he just comes up with Funny shit, and I—I I don't know. He's funny as fuck. And then Beetlejuice, dude. Me, 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 and you have have been fans of Beetlejuice before he became popular on like Instagram and TikTok and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I and I'll always say that, like, okay, like obviously there's gonna be older people that were aware of Howard Stern before you and I were, so they know who Beetlejuice is technically. But I feel like in the uh, digital age of social media and shit. Like like that generation, you and I were the firsts that, mm-hmm. that liked him. 
Yeah. Because yeah. of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you showed me Beetlejuice, and the next thing I know, he's on Instagram and TikTok blowing up, and everybody's like, oh, Beetlejuice, oh, yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is so funny. <laughs> oh, I know Beetlejuice. Hey, I, spell mm-hmm. red. ha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude, we been known about him yeah, we not been being known. able to spell red. All you, all you guys are slow on the uptake, a little bit slow in the mind. How about that? Yeah, yeah, he's all over the place now, man. And uh, Howard Stern put him on. Howard's, What's going on with Howard? Dude, Stern, Howard Stern man? fell off. Yeah, Howard Stern fell off big time. But think about this: the guy that that hosted Beetlejuice on his uh, on his show is now. Falling in popularity and Beetlejuice is rising in popularity or yeah. probably not po- rising right now. He's probably stagnant now, but like, like there's people that know who Beetlejuice is and have no idea who Howard Stern is. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. But, but yeah, you ask what Howard Stern is up to now. Do nothing. He, mm-hmm. his, his show is awful now. Yeah. I, I, I don't like it. It's crazy. He's still recording. Um, Even though his dude. I don't know. I go on to his Instagram account where they post clips from the show and everything, and they he, they don't get a lot of likes unless it's a big name on yeah. uh, in a clip. Uh, I think the most likes they ever got was the Billie Eilish one, where Howard was asking Billie Eilish's uh, parents how how she was conceived. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was the most liked one. But yeah, but I mean, again, if it's because of it's because of the celebrity on there. You know, that was big. Yeah. If his likes are a reflection of how his show uh, is actually doing, how many listeners he's getting, then it's he's doing ass, man. Right. And me and you were talking about how, why doesn't he just put his whole entire catalog uh, and make it available on the serious Dude, um, thing? Uh, like, yeah, I the want I app. want him to do that. There's so many other people that say, yo, why the fuck don't you do this? You were saying on a gold mine. Mm-hmm. Why, why not just release him into the world? Dude, I know why. He was crazy back then. Some of the shit that 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 people got away with on that show is insane, <laughs> and fucking insane. Like that crystal, like that crystal clear clip. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, crystal clear clip, dude. It is fucked up. Yeah. For for those of you that don't know, Howard Stern had a um had an amateur porn star on his show, and uh, she was only eighteen, and uh and they were like uh. You know, they're like infantizing her and shit like that. Like um, saying, well, why are you so young and doing porn? All that shit, blah, blah, blah. And then they kind of forced her to do stuff that she didn't want to do. Like they have a fucking Sibian in the room. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a fucking. Just look it up. Just look it up. Just look it up. Let's not, let's not get demonetized. Okay. Yeah. They forced her onto YouTube the Sibian. For and and one, of the, one of the cast members of the Howard Stern show called in pretending to be her manager or something and told her to get on the the uh the uh Sibian. Bruh. And then they offered her a a rack of Carson's <laughs> ribs to get on it. Dude, it, it's 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 fucked up, but no, th- that's why Howard Stern is not putting his stuff up on on like readily available for people because he he did fucked up things back then yeah i guess that's a good point but dude imagine how many more subscribers they would get if they had every single howard oh, stern dude, episode absolutely on that There's, you could just go back like, to they're they're sitting on a gold mine bro yeah um do you do you remember when uh you thought virtual reality was reality yes that was fucked up man i was yeah. playing that <laughs> What's that game called? Super hot. Yeah, super, super hot. You're just hot. fucking every time you move, the guys that are trying to attack you move too, right? Yeah. And yeah. and I was hiding behind cover. These guys were coming at me. They were trying to attack me, bro. Pull up some gameplay just just really quick so they know what we're Yeah, as I'm talking, talking about, about this show, yeah. the gameplay. So these guys were coming at me, bro. I was scared as hell, dude. I, I was behind this cover and dude, every time I moved, they got closer and closer. So I said, yo, these guys are getting, these guys are trying to kill me. Like, that, dude, I was, I was in this shit. I said, these guys are trying to kill me, bro. I said, I, dude, I got to fucking go after this guy. This, the closest guy that was in front of me. I got out from under the cover and I said, I'm going to rush him. And I saw the guy coming at me and I fucking sprinted full force at him in VR. But then I realized in about 1.5 seconds that I was actually sprinting in the real world, and I ran into a coffee table. and Full I, and, of food and drinks. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ended up face down, just laying on this coffee table, and I hit my shins, I think, really hard. And I was, dude, I was, I remember I was just laying there for like an hour and everybody was laughing and I was just. For an hour? No, 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 like literally, literally two minutes, literally, because I was so embarrassed and I was like, dude, what the fuck? I really thought I was in this shit. I was just laying there for two minutes. I couldn't believe it. And everybody was laughing and I, uh, it was fucked, man. It, It was the. So I can't believe I really thought I was in that world. Oh, dude, that shit is fucked up, though. Dude, I really... Dude, it, it felt like that was me. These guys were trying <laughs> to kill me. Are, are So you couldn't oh. distinguish between virtual reality and reality? Yes. That's you, that's what our future is heading towards, bro. That would be kind of sick. Imagine a, a game that looks so realistic. You just put on fucking goggles. Yeah, I guess. That'd be sick. And you could jump off of buildings without actually feeling anything. Yeah. And hitting the ground without actually feeling it. Yeah. Or or you could rush people that are trying to kill you without, you know, running mm-hmm. into a coffee table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, dude, that's that's the thing they need to figure out. I wanna be able to actually run towards these assholes in, in VR. I don't wanna have to just go like this in one place. Right. Move my arms to run towards him or whatever, the, however the fuck it worked. Um, yeah, man, dude, dude, that was the worst day of my life. It was the worst <laughs> day of my life. Jesus. There's also a video of that happening. Well, well, no, a- a- Angelo didn't get like you running into the coffee table, but he got the aftermath. Remember? Yeah. So if he can find the clip, here it is, right here. Um. If if there is no clip, you're just seeing like a little text thing that says no right now. So, um, yeah. Damn, man, that was insane, bro. And uh, I I'll tell you one thing. That was a bruh. moment. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, dude. I keep forgetting that we have a fucking soundboard, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's let's uh start using it at like crazy. Hell yeah, in, hell yeah. In the next half of this podcast. True, true. Um, Hold on, let me pull up. But yeah, dude. I mean, even though you know VR, you know, caused me to have the worst day of my life. I I don't hold any grudges towards VR. Or, you know the the game developers. I don't right. I don't have beef with them. You know, right, right. But I do have beef with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have beef with somebody. On YouTube. Guys, I have my own personal channel, Andy P, on YouTube. This other fucking guy on YouTube, his name is Andy P. Luckily, when you look up Andy P now, I show up above this fucking prick. But he used to show up before me. And, dude, I swear to God, when I had my... my The original profile picture I used was like a, um, a, a deep-fried picture of me. And he had the same, like a similar looking profile picture. And then I look at his banner. It was like similar to mine. His name is Andy P. I I don't, I'm not saying your name isn't Andy P. I'm not saying you took my name or anything like that, but you fucking took, when you looked up your name, you saw my channel, you looked at it and you said, huh, let me do this, what this guy's doing. And then you're making vlogs. When I had the fastest growing family vlog channel, you're fucking copying me and everything I do. Dude, I just need some fucking YouTube beef because this shit Yo, needs bro, to challenge fucking, him. This needs challenge to him to up. a boxing match. Yeah, I did. I made a video of me challenging him. Remember? I posted. It was an ass video. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I remember called that. him out. And then and then I commented on one of his videos. I said, yo, I called you out, bro. Check my video. <laughs> and then, dude, I think he blocked me for a little bit because I wasn't able to find his channel after that for a little bit. Damn, he's, he didn't want the smoke. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't want any of the smoke, bro. But I'm calling him out again. You can handle the smoke, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Everybody, go to Andy P's channel. No, 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 no. You never mind. You can't. You can't do that on YouTube, or it'll be inciting. I mean, only get two people. Yeah. No, 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 okay. no, 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 yeah. no, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah let's he's, not do that. He, he's kidding. He's kidding, guys. Yeah, no, no, he, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah, I, but I, I do think he low key, um, uh, subconsciously copied me in some yeah, ways. Dude, I have a similar problem, uh, with my artist name. 
right? Mm-hmm. Uh, someone has the same fucking artist name, and I've been planning to be making music under this name for years, since like 2015 or some dumb shit like that. Mm-hmm. Some crazy shit. I've been planning to release music under this uh, under this name, and then just out of nowhere, like the day I start making music under this name, the same guy, or no, not the... Same guy, a new guy pops up with my with, with the same fucking name and is like releasing these electronic music. So and and then and then it uh, did like this whole fucking thing with YouTube music, thought that I was him, so all of my music was going on his channel somehow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was so fucking annoying, but I, I got sorted out. But um yeah, bro, change your name, honestly. Change yeah, your yeah. name. I, yeah. I don't want your name to be anymore change your name you really want to say the name like that bro uh i'll I'll bleep it out fuck it (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so we we got two beefs going for us maybe shit will start looking up because we'll you know create some drama maybe maybe shit will start um heating up here on the on a talk show with jake and andy and on the jake and andy channel the most tight-knit community in all of YouTube. Hopefully, shit will. Some would say the we'll tightest niche. Yeah, yeah. It, did it you actually notice is. That? Hold on. Did you notice? Uh, like you probably didn't know about this, but uh, Brendan Schaub. Every time he's on the Joe Rogan podcast, Joe Rogan would say something, and then he would respond, like, "Uh, oh, here, I'll just, uh, I'll just give you an example." Joe Rogan says, "Oh, damn, this is really hot." And then Brendan Schaub, he'll say, "Some would say the hottest." <laughs> Every single time, bro. Yeah, I think I have heard him say shit like bro, that. Bro, what an annoying c- you, you, oh. saw, you saw that video? Oh, yeah, we can't say that actually on, on YouTube. I, I'll have to bleep that out. We can't say the see you next Tuesday word. Um, But did you... Re- did, did, you re- 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 <laughs> did you recently see that video of him flipping over in his Jeep? Yeah. Yo, bro, that was that funny was as sick. hell. Some good shit. Yeah, that was sick, bro. But, but but you know what's funny? If you look at the video of him rolling over, pull up the video right now as I'm talking. If you if you look at the video, it like cuts. It doesn't show how fast he was going when he when he flipped over. Which and I think they did that on purpose because they didn't want to show how slow he was going in order <laughs> to flip himself over. How slow was he going? L- like like think? slow because if you look at like uh, oh oh like well. Like miles per hour, how 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 fast did I think he was going? Like probably yeah. two, or some something like that. Like, like he was not going fast at all, and he just flipped it over somehow. Fucking embarrassing for that motherfucker. Poor guy keeps taking L's, dude. Hell yeah, he he lost that lawsuit that he was he was suing some guy for uh uh <laughs> for making fun of him on YouTube, right? <laughs> And, and 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 he would go on all these podcasts. He would go on all these podcasts and like brag that he has all the best lawyers in the world, and he's gonna bring this guy down, right? When meanwhile, all this guy was doing was just uh, making fun of him on YouTube, right? So they go into court, and he fucking loses. Mm-hmm. He, he loses. He has all the lawyers in the world, and the guy that he was suing was was representing himself, <laughs> and Brendan Schaub lost. Yeah, yeah, bro. Ben yeah. Shab's a fucking clown. I, it, he's a fucking lol cow. I like watching his stuff. He's a funny guy. He's like, he's like Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, Chris Chan. <laughs> you know, he's like in that same uh, a ring of people. Yeah, he's just a funny guy to watch. He does dumb shit, dude. I, I, I don't know. I feel bad for him at this point. He's just take keeps taking L's. I think he should just retire and go broke. Maybe. I mean, yeah. dude. I mean, dude. They have to upload like six episodes of the fighter and the kid every week to make money on that podcast. Dude. Yeah. It's, they're it, not making the, any the views on that. Aren't the best. They need to post and, and six. They, a and, week. They, and they used to be good though, but you know what I think happened? It's because like all this controversy with Brendan shot, but also the controversy around, uh, I was about to call him Brian Cranston. No, well, what the <laughs> fuck's his name? Brian. Oh, damn it. Callan. Yeah. Callan. Callan. Yeah, dude. He's a fucking piece of work. He he got all these allegations against him. He said that they're not true, but I mean, he's friends with Chris Talia and those turn out to be true. So, you know, yeah, put two and two together. And on top of that, he's fucking uh, on Steven Crowder's show now. 
as mm. like a regular. <laughs> like, w- w- what the fuck is going on there, bro? I mean, dude, I don't know. Him and Brian Shaw, Brendan Shaw, are trying to do you know anything they can. I think at this point, they're just, yeah, they're not. They're not huge names. They're they're and especially Brendan Shaw is just known as a guy that everybody clowns on. Yeah, he um, uh, he he he's like in a war with his own subreddit. Yeah, like his own like for those of you that 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 don't know his own subreddit for his podcasts somehow morphed into a hate group for Brendan Shaw. Yeah, that is so weird to me. When I figured that out, I, it was so fucking weird to me. Um, but dude, I knew about Brendan Shaw, you know, way before he was into this stuff. Uh, when he was a heavyweight um MMA fighter in the UFC, and it, like honestly, thinking of that now, it's it's weird how you know the ufc world that i'm part of and the entertainment um realm that i i I was interested in at this at the same time as i was with ufc there's so much crossover now brendan schaub's there jeff wittick you know is a big ufc fan he's training with sean o'malley sean o'malley's uh posting shit on youtube now um there's so many uh things crossing over between MMA and the YouTube space now. Yeah. Uh and who who the fuck else do I listen to? Um yeah, I mean Chill Logan Sonnen. Paul, Logan Paul when I was listening to him, he always had UFC fighters on. It's just so weird how you know, people that I actually was watching, you know, had ties with the the UFC and MMA fighters. Yeah. UFC is badass, man. The UFC yeah, like is badass. What did you think of that fight last night with uh, yeah, Dustin Poirier? Man. Give you a review of that, dude. Dustin Poirier is a beast. He's he's definitely one of my favorite fighters. Are we are we going back to the Penner podcast where it was just <laughs> talking about MMA? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> but, but dude, Dustin Poirier, he's a he's a beast. He's dude. I don't think you know. Since you got into it, you definitely haven't seen a bad fight from no, Dustin Poirier. Yeah. He he fought Michael Chandler that one time. That was a good fight. Um, and then you know the Michael Chandler and Justin Gaethje fight. That one was really good. But yeah, Dustin Poirier is um, never in a bad fight, and he just knocked out Benoit Saint Denis, who who was uh, way down in the rankings. Yeah, coming. that that fight was good because it, it seemed like Dustin Prey was actually getting his ass beat in the first round. Yeah, I was scared. And then just shitless. out of nowhere, he just does like that fucking <laughs> shit. Like it was a weird knockout because it wasn't like like a traditional thing. He was like that or something. Oh, sorry, Gus. Jeez. Hi, buddy. Yeah, he got he him as he got him as out. he was coming in. But he t- um going into that fight, it was supposed to be a three round fight, but Dustin Poirier asked for five rounds because he said the better fighter always wins over five rounds. That's that shit's sick, dude. He's a beast, and he's also a nice ass guy. Has a ch- uh, um a foundation. Is he the one with money? Is he the one with the adopted kids, or is that Michael Chandler? Nah, that's Michael dude. Chandler. I always get them mixed up. Dustin <laughs> Poirier, Michael Chandler. Yeah, shit, dude. Him, Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier, and uh, Justin Gaethje. Everybody, like they're interchangeable. They they all always put on crazy fights. Um, but yeah, dude, we can talk about that. The Michael Chandler and his kids, Michael Chandler adopted two kids. Okay. And they're black. Okay. Who gives a shit? But everybody on, uh, Instagram, you know, was attacking him for this dude, and making memes and it, shit. It, like, like that shit to me, isn't even funny. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 like those are his kids. Yeah. And this on, guy man. adopted these kids to, you know, um, you know, presumably give presumably give them a better home you know i mean he definitely did he's rich right. now yeah so, and, and he he's a genuinely good person and and these people are making jokes about like um uh i don't know like uh saying oh they're not his kids his wife fucked some other guy that was black and those are you know i mean it's just dumb dumb childish shit like that it's so dumb it's yeah. stupid it's yeah, no, disrespectful. It's, it's always something stupid. There's some fucked up shit that people say about it. But leave the man alone. He's a nice guy. And he puts on good fights. Say leave Brittany, Brit, Brit, Brittany alone. No, that's stupid. No, no, come on. Please. Please. No, that's stupid, no, man. No, that's stupid. No, no, dude, please. Leave Michael Chandler alone. How about that, boy? No, no, please say like that guy, like that fucking Chris Crocker guy. Dude, please, Andy. Please. 
Dude, that's no, that would be uh, please, cringe, please, especially now, especially because I waited this long. If I did it, it would be cringe. And it's, it's will Andy do it? Find out after this break. Thank you, Burger King, for sponsoring this episode. Get the Whopper. You can get the Whopper with the pickles, onions, and ketchup, and it's a smoky taste. It's they have a they have a smoky taste. It's the best burger you can get at any fast food. And now they have the Impossible Whopper. If you're not into meat, you can get the Impossible Whopper, and it is meatless. And thank you so much, Burger King, for sponsoring this episode. Please use the code uh, Jake and Andy when you go pick up your order at the drive-thru. Tell them, just say Jake and Andy. And then they're gonna, they might say, wait, what? What are you talking about? And then say Jake and Andy. And then that's when they'll know what the fuck you're talking about. And they'll give you 100% off your order. Andy. And Andy, come on, please. <laughs> Will you do it? Come on, please. No. Oh, okay. that's cringe. That's cringe. Moving on. That's a really dead meme, and nobody's going to give a shit about that. Dickhead. Nobody is going to give Dickhead. a shit about that, Fuck man. You. Nobody's going to give a shit about that. Are you guys right? Are you guys right? Am I right about that, bro? Nope. Bitch. Fuck, man. Um, do you want to get into the movie of the week? How long have we been going for? Yeah, about 53 minutes. Really? Yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on. There's something I want to say. Uh, I I put my underwear on wrong. <laughs> 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 so, so um, where I work, I walk around a lot. Um, it does a number on my feet, but whatever. Um, uh, and... For some reason, my underwear felt really tight throughout the whole day. I was like, <laughs> damn, did I really did I really outgrow these that fast? Did I really get that fat to outgrow double XL underwear? You know, I, I, I was like, damn, these are so fucking tight. I was walking around my uh, the uh, my blood flow to my leg was like getting fucked up. And, and, and like at one point, my my leg fell asleep. But you were just pushing through it. Yeah, yeah, I was just pushing through it, and then and then when I get back home, uh, I'm, I go to the bathroom and I pull my underwear down, bro. So this leg went into <laughs> the proper leg hole, but this one went through a hole that was in like the gooch area of my underwear. <laughs> so I was wearing my underwear uh, with like one leg sleeve over here, and then this going through the fucking gooch area. <laughs> And then this in the, the proper leg sleeve was just hanging off the yeah, side. Yeah, it was just hanging off the side. <laughs> and I was walking around like that. I, I can't say what I was doing, but I, I was walking around and doing work like that the whole day. And the whole and, time you were just thinking you gained weight. Yeah, yeah I was just one. thinking like I, like I gained like 20 pounds in the last uh, two days or something. And then you say your, your leg was losing... You were losing circulation to the leg, but didn't you say you were also getting lightheaded? <laughs> no, I didn't say I was getting lightheaded. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Fuck. No, no. You said you were getting lightheaded and dizzy because... What? <laughs> because it was fucking up your blood flow. Maybe I said that to make a joke, but but no, in actuality, no, that didn't happen. This man pushed through pain all day yeah, just because he, he assumed it was just because he gained 20 pounds in two days. Yeah, bro. I was getting dizzy. I was getting lightheaded. I was vomiting blood, dude. It was, it was just the whole nine yards. I was getting fucked up by this underwear. Turns out I was just wearing them wrong. I, I because you put your leg through a gooch hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my yeah, in the gooch hole somehow, <laughs> dude. Damn. But yeah, but but yeah, when I pulled this underwear off, it was completely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> just the thought of you, <laughs> you're just knowing your underwear is tight as fuck, and you like struggling and getting lightheaded and not doing anything about it is yeah. funny as fuck to me. Dude, I feel like that's that's just the story of my life. If there's something wrong with me, I just power through it and <laughs> and and like hope hopefully you'll get better. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I mean? I mean that's what I'm doing with my feet right now. I'm just powering through it. Hopefully you'll get better. It's not working, but does anybody have any recommendations for insoles so Jake's feet will 
be better. Particularly part movie of the week. Particularly, all right. You just want to do movie of the week? Fine. Movie of the week. Roll the thing. Movie of the week. Roll the intro. Movie of the week. Movie of the week. Um, Obviously, movie of the week. Dune two. Obviously, Dune Dune part two. You know what? Watching the first Dune, um, dude, y- you were on my ass about giving Lord of the Rings not that great of a score. The first, okay, okay, okay no, that's no, 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 no. This no. motherfucker gave Lord of the Rings part one or f- the uh, first Lord of the Rings movie a fucking two and a half stars. No, dude, I Shut spat up. all over the place. No, it's it, it's a five star movie. You fucking dickhead. Okay, continue. Shut up. Yeah, no, I just brought that up to make this point. I I don't know. I don't like when, you know, a movie is split into parts because, you know, there's obviously so much. Would you rather have the movie be like six hours long? It depends. Hell but, no. Come on. But, I, I, dude, I can't watch the first part of a series of movies and... I don't know. I, I, I have a weird uh, view towards that. So the first Dune... You know, there was a lot that I knew was going to happen and was supposed to happen. And I couldn't look at it as just a standalone movie. I couldn't. And I just, but I had to review it like it was a standalone movie. So I gave it, what I give it? Three and a half, maybe? You gave it more stars than Lord. Okay, you know what? Sorry. I'll, 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 we'll talk I'll about say, Lord of the Rings yeah, we'll talk some about other that day. We'll talk about that some other time, yeah. But yeah, when, when, when a movie split into parts, it's hard for me to really, uh, you know, Get over I, that I'm, hump. I'm I'm okay with the store with the score that you gave Dune Part One because again it, it it's not the full story yeah but for uh, and um yeah like it's obviously just something that sets up the rest of the movie it felt like mm-hmm. I did enjoy it though Dune Part One I thought mm-hmm. all this all, all dude the cinematography was great visual effects were fantastic um. The acting was pretty good in Dune Part One, but it it just felt like it was just setting up the story, you know. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, and dude, Dune Part Two, fantastic, mm-hmm. fantastic, dude, amazing. But, yeah, Dune Dune Part Two, you know, was also there to set shit up, but it it was it was but a it, lot more enjoyable yeah. of a watch. And, and I, I also feel like unlike Dune Part One, that just felt like it was the start of something. I felt like Dune Part Two could could like like stand on its own. I thought yeah. as just a as just a standalone movie. I mean, obviously it it, it like kind of ends with like with like like it had like an open ending, you know, like mm-hmm. like obviously they're going to continue it. Mm-hmm. But I felt like as a standalone movie, it was a lot better than. Dune one as a standalone movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird with these, you know, these movies split into parts. It feels like you need to review the whole series instead of just reviewing one movie at a time. It's 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 weird to me. But yeah, Dune two, Dune Part Two was a really enjoyable watch, and the cinematography was cool. the the color the the color grading was sick. Oh, dude, yeah. The, the acting was good. Austin Butler's character was my favorite character it's a shame yeah he was my favorite character in the movie um <laughs> you're about to give some <laughs> you're about to spoil the movie uh the only yeah i gave it um four and a half stars uh i was i, I gave it five i was contemplating four stars but i couldn't i had to do four and, and a half I, and i was contemplating four and a half but then i just thought to myself this movie just did too many things right for me to just give it four and a half, in my opinion, like mm-hmm. I, I literally can't think of a complaint with this movie. Like, is it the best five out of five star movie of all time? No, it's not. But it it, it did so many things so well, you know. Yeah. Visually, acting wise, uh, writing. I thought the writing was was a lot better in this than it was in Dude One. I I like. And that's weird because because our friend Tom Zhao thought that thought that the dialogue was was ass in Dune Two. Yeah, he said it was quote unquote weird. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, he meant I by I, that. I didn't agree with that. I thought Dune One, Dune One wasn't 
didn't have weird dialogue, but it was, it was just like, I don't know, just kind of like normal movie dialogue. I thought the dialogue in this one was, was a lot better. Um, yeah, dude, it, like, I'm beginning to realize that, like, reviewing good movies is hard because I there's nothing I can really talk about. Like, dude, just everything about it was good. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, the one thing I was talking about, it, uh, the, the dialogue between the characters was good. It was strong. Um, the one complaint I have is that, dude, usually, you know, what, what makes, with any five-star movie that I've seen, there has been at least one scene that, you know, made me really mad or really sad to the point where I cry. In this movie, it was all... I did have, you know, um, heightened emotions and feelings in some scenes, but it was always excitement or I was just hype for a character or a situation. I never had any, you know, moments of being mad or sad at anyone or anything. And I think that's what kept me from giving it five stars. You didn't feel just a a little bit sad about, uh, I can't say this without spoiling it. Um, you can beep it out. Yeah, yeah. You didn't feel sad about how Paul, uh, with um, not really actually. I, 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 I did. I thought that shit was fucking. The shit was. Fucking. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be because. Or, or, well, let's not talk about it too much because it's a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. But no, I do think maybe there could have been some more. Um. You know, maybe backstories on some of the characters mm-hmm. in this movie that maybe. could have helped with, you know, making you feel more for them. I feel like in that's, the book... That's my complaint. I feel like maybe in the book, the characters are more fleshed out. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't I didn't read the book. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. the, since it's a book, you can write whatever the fuck you want. And make it be as long as you want. And probably he added backstories to these characters. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh oh oh another thing I want to mention is the fucking music dude that 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 song that I was playing at the end dude it made me feel things and that's my favorite type of movie music the the, the, the shit that makes you feel like like that's like that's fucking song wait let me made you feel some type of way yeah it made me feel some type of way hold on I I I need to I need to shout out I need to shout shout out this song it it is called a time of quiet between the storms. This is like the like in my opinion this is like the perfect uh movie soundtrack. It, it like it plays at the end and it kind of wraps up everything that you just saw and like how you're supposed to feel a- after witnessing that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And like how you, how you how you feel about what you just watched like uh like if it's incorporated well into the, like into like the soundtrack then that's fucking amazing and it did that so perfectly mm-hmm. it wrapped up everything that that i just saw all the feelings emotions um all wrapped up into in, into the uh song at the end and dude it was so that, that song's so beautiful again all wrapped up into a nice little jig yeah into a nice little jig yeah again a time of quiet between the storms dude listen listen to the song if you uh, or no go go watch the movie and wait for the end to hear the song it's beautiful, and there yeah, there you have it. There you have it. We recommend you see the movie. I gave it four point five stars. Jake gave it five stars. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, bro. Again, cinematography, acting. Uh, uh what I want to touch. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. Austin Austin Butler. Yeah, you mentioned that he was really good. Do you think his performance was worth all the hype? Because people were saying that he yes. was. They yeah, you did. People were saying that he was comparable to Heath. Heath Ledger, Javier Bordem, uh, um, uh, uh, in No Country for Old Men, but you, which you didn't see, mm-hmm. but you've seen Heath Ledger as the Joker. Do you think? Do you think he was comparable? Yes, he was sick. Yeah, yeah, dude, he was really good. I want to see more of him. Uh, as that guy. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do you think people need to see the first part to see this movie? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, can watch it on much. Max. Just watch it on fucking Max. Max is a good streaming platform, or 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 you can um, you know, uh, go out to seas if you know what I mean. Mm. Do Do you actually know what I mean? Yeah. B 
be a pirate? Is that what you're yeah, yeah, okay. About? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to bleep that out, I think, because they don't like talking. YouTube doesn't. Who cares? They're not going to fucking nah, flag Paul, us. Paulo Costa works for the UFC and yeah, he, he just told said, people to ask people for an illegal pay-per-view yeah, yeah, streaming yeah link. yeah so fuck it i'm not gonna beat around the bush yeah go on pirate bay <laughs> and watch dune one there you go there you go that's based man what movie do you want us to review next hey man, hey in the comments tell andy how stupid he is for giving lord of the rings fellowship of the ring two and a half stars dude i i think i watched it Twice, dude, and uh, dude, no, you didn't. We watched it all the time when we were kids. No, I How watched it. I watched that? it with someone else, bro. The the time I gave it that two and a half stars, I think. Dude, how could you give it two and a half, dude? That's so, dude. I, like, okay, I know you don't like to. Was it two and a half or was it three and a half? It was definitely two and a half. Definitely. I don't know. Maybe Weirdo. maybe I'll see it again. Watch it again. Yeah, guys, mention in the comments how how weird it is that Andy gave. One of the best trilogies ever made. He gave the first movie in that trilogy, which is objectively five stars. He gave it two and a half. Jesus. There's definitely something wrong with him in the head, right? Tell, let him know in the comments below. Oh, I'm Frodo. I'm a hobbit. I have hairy feet. Oh, <laughs> and I'm cool, bitch. Oh, 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 oh Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Yo, yo dude, there, dude, were, there were that's like... That's why I gave it... Two and a half yeah, stars that's because why. of the the dynamic between. Dude, there were there were like low key like like homosexual vibes between those two. Yeah, low low key though, low key like not like like something crazy. Yeah, my um, a uh, film class I used I used to take if if I wrote an essay on the homosexual relation, the underlying homosexual relationship vibes between Frodo and. Sam, he would give me a 100%. He would say, oh, this is a really insightful thing that you looked into. Wow. Did, didn't you actually have to write an essay about something like that? Like, Yeah, two? yeah, because there were always queer, quote-unquote queer characters in uh, uh, noir films. Yeah. And we had to write that, that's one aspect of characters. That's one aspect of noir movies that I really like because, because like, obviously there's, like, a femme fatale character, right? But at, at the end of the day, it's just the bros, you know, that want to, uh, um, like, like Loki has some weird sexual tension between each other, and that happened in a fucking lot of noir movies. Yeah, and that was, in my opinion, the most interesting aspect. Mm -hmm. I remember there was one movie where this one guy that had some gay vibes came into this private detective's office, and he was like trying to make him do something, and the private detective came up on him like this. Like looking evil yeah. with a smile, and then he just knocked the gay guy out, and the gay guy fell into a chair like perfectly, and he was like knocked out in this chair, laying there, and he was gay. <laughs> was he actually gay? Yeah. Or? Oh, oh, I mean, wait. I, I mean, I think so. <laughs> that, that was the character. It, like, like, did they explicitly say in the movie that he's gay? No, but he, no, but he was doing some gay things. They never said he was. Oh, gay. okay, I see. Like I he see. was doing some gay. Oh, so type so that shit. wasn't really like like. Like undertones, he was just a gay guy. Mm, I don't know. I, what I'm talking about is like, like if you watch noir movies, like if there's there's two male characters that work together, there's always some sort of yeah, weird. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like that happened a lot, but there were also just random characters that just seemed gay. And <laughs> it was, I don't know. Sometimes it was funny because. Like that guy I was just talking about that got knocked out and into a chair. He got knocked out sitting perfectly in a chair. <laughs> Dude, that shit was funny. <laughs> yeah, bro. But no, yeah. Um, he was like a weird guy and he had a voice like fucking Igor from uh Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah, he That's reminded weird. me of him. I don't know. That shit was funny. Do, do all gay people have a voice like Igor from Frankenstein? Is that is that how you could tell that he was no, gay? No, dude. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying. Uh, I know, I'm just messing with you. I know what you're saying. No, no, I'm, I'm saying like his voice didn't even sound that gay. It just sounded weird. But then he did some low key gay things. Like what? Uh, like I don't know. Like he was like 
looking into this private detective's office, like peeking <laughs> in and when he was just like signing papers and I don't know. That shit was funny to me. It was did just they, like did it make him look like a fruit? Yeah. A and mook. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was just a weird guy, and then he gets knocked out. I just thought that shit was funny. Okay, bye.